break. It helped us play more internationally because we used to play only Austrian and German festivals. And yeah, it was quite a fun experience to do some international shows. For me, I think playing Eurosonic, Eurosonic, from there on I felt like this thing was real. So from there on the, the life presence changed much more secure, scary still, but yeah, it helped me be, be aware that this is a real thing and we're doing this, not just a fluke. Yeah, you, I mean, playing Eurosonic in the first place was always a big goal of ours when we started the band and, and we played it quite soon into our careers really as musicians, like we really hadn't played that many shows and so for us it opened a big door to be like on, on similar stages to some of, the, of our peers or people we've admired, like I mean, I know Fat Dog got a lot of bookings off this as well and like that's a band I really admire and just to be kind of on these stages, similar stages to bands that we followed for a long time is like really nice and you learn a lot from other bands and from being a part of that experience. So it's been amazing just to play some of those festivals since Eurosonic, it really has. And we felt that support from Eurosonic as well, I think. Um, just on the day, meeting them, but also since, I think so. A lot. Um, I think um, it's, it's what I really like is that um, there's some somebody is searching in all the uh, rehearsal rooms and corners of Europe to discover new music. And for me, it's a great experience to have it in January, shortly after Christmas. So the family affair is done. So we are back in uh, to to jump into uh, this uh, festival thing. And uh, it's also good to meet uh, other festival promoters, to have an exchange of ideas and then to see Ben.